Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Made, where I like to talk about all things online branding and marketing. So today I'm gonna to be giving you the rundown on how to optimize your website for Google search, Yahoo search, and any other search engine. So today's video is sponsored by Wix, and they reached out to me and asked if I could show you guys how you can get your website ranking higher on Google. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do it with the Wix editor, but all of these concepts apply to any website building Builder you're using. So even if you're not using Wix, do be sure to give this video a watch because I think you're going to learn something from it. And if you'd like to get started with your Wix website, you can do that using the link in the description below. So make sure to check that out if you want to create your website or online store. I have tutorials on my channel for how to do both of those things. But without any further ado, let's jump over to the Wix panel and let's look at how to optimize a website for Google search. Okay, so I'm over in my Wix dashboard here, and the first thing I'm going to do is go over to the sidebar on the left-hand side and go to where it says Marketing and SEO, and I'm just going to click SEO Tools. Now, I'm not done any optimization on this site whatsoever. I've obviously built it already, but I have not optimized it to rank higher on Google search. So what I love about Wix is there's an SEO wizard that really makes it easy to get an understanding of what we need to do to optimize our site. So right here where it says get found on Google, I'm just going to click let's go. And then right here, we're taking to the Wix SEO wizard. So I'm going to say, start now. So right off the bat, Wix is asking us to confirm our business name. And this is a big thing with SEO. We need to make sure that everything on the page is spelled properly. We use lots of keywords that talk about what we do with our business and why. So for example, let's say I'm a barber and my business is named Christian's Cuts. Well, that's a creative business name. It's really cool actually. But the problem with that is my business name doesn't say that I'm a barber and it doesn't include the keywords like haircut or barber services. So we have to make sure that those keywords are included all over the page in our page title. And we're going to see examples of this all throughout the Wix SEO wizard. But just to give you an idea of how important that is, that is a huge focus for SEO. So right off the bat here, I'm going to do a little bit of styling to this title because it's not completely correct. It should look like this here. Ditto's biscotti. And then I'm going to click next. Um, and in this case, this is only online. If you do have a physical location, click this and Wix is going to help that address be associated with your business for like Google Maps and stuff. But I'm going to say no, it's only online and click next. Now, this is where we get to the really important keyword part. How would you describe your business? And it's asking us for up to three keyword phrases that clearly describe your business. So I'm going to say biscotti, cookies, and baked goods. I think that's good to start. And I'm just going to say create SEO plan. So what we want to do first is work through this list that we see right here where it says step one, get your site listed on Google. We want to go through and anything that's got a little badge like this we want to address. But let's just work through each section so in case you have a section that maybe needs some work, you can get a better understanding of what needs to happen. So I'm going to click homepage's title is ready for search, what you've achieved, current title, shop, ditto's biscotti, at least one of your keywords is included, business or site name appears, title is a good length. Now, actually, I'm going to go edit this because I want to fix this bit here so it's styled properly. So make sure you check that even if Wix is saying it's good to go. I'm going to say go to editor. And then right here under shop SEO Google, I'm just going to edit this title and just say Ditto's Biscotti and click publish. So now anytime we make a change, we can actually go right back to this other page here and click refresh. And once that change has been made in the editor, we can see that our title updates right here, shop Ditto's Biscotti. That's looking better. So I'm gonna move on to this next step here where it says add the homepage's description for search results. I'm just gonna say, go for it. 
Uh, now, what you need, at least one of your keywords, include your business or site name, keep it between 50 to 300 characters. So I'm going to say go to editor on this one. And what we wanna do here is make sure we're at this view under store pages, shop, because that's the home page and then this description section right here. Now this is critical for SEO. This is the little blurb that's going to appear under your website on Google. So we can see right here, we have a little preview of kind of what a Google search result would look like. As we start typing, this is going to affect that result here. So we really wanna make sure that we get the business name, one to several keywords, and a description that's going to make it absolutely clear what is included on this page. What is the person going to find when they click? A big trick to SEO is letting Google know this page is what you say it is. So if we put here that this is a landscaping company and Google is seeing the word biscotti all over the web page when people actually click it, they're going to say, that seems a little weird. That seems a little shady. We're going to bump that down in the algorithm. So here we want to give a strong call that it is a biscotti page, cookies, baked goods. And then we want to make sure that those same words are on the page itself. So first we're going to start with the description. What's the page all about? So let's just say dittos biscotti. I think that's pretty descript, that's pretty short and to the point. So I'm going to click publish here just to make sure that we save these changes. And I'm gonna click done. Now, like I said, we want to check our page for keywords. So I'm gonna close this and on this home page, I'm gonna scroll down to our about section. So we see here, Ditto's Biscotti makes handcrafted made to order biscotti for all occasions. Um, so maybe I'm going to change or, or, or put order biscotti cookies, make sure we get that keyword in for all occasions. And then we need to get baked goods in here as well, if possible. And again, I'm going to click publish just to save these changes and click done. Now I'm gonna hop back over to the SEO wizard here. And now that we've done this, I'm just going to go ahead and click refresh. Uh, and as you can see here, it looks like we've done all the steps. I've done all the steps with my website, but there's more steps here. So the steps that you're gonna take for your Wix website may be different than the steps that I have to take because it uses the website that you've already created and any optimization you may have done without realizing it. If you've already optimized a page, it's gonna check that off the list. So I completed everything on the checklist to be worthy of connecting my site with Google, but I'm just gonna close this here and go back to the list and see if there's anything else that we should really cover. And actually, no, all of this looks good here. So I am gonna go ahead and say, connect to Google Search Console, connect to Google. This is just gonna ask you to sign in with your Google account. It's nothing scary, and I'll explain exactly what it gives you access to in a minute. But before we go and look at that, there's a couple more things that we can do to optimize the website. And we can see here that we've completed 11 out of 13 tasks that Wix is recommending. So if we scroll down here, we can add that page description for our contact page. We can click view more, we can do it for FAQ. And that's everything that Wix is able to recommend. And then they have a step three section that says keep improving your SEO. And that brings up something really cool for us. So Wix actually has an SEO guide. It's completely free to access even if you don't build your website with Wix. So everyone watching, I said that you would be able to get good value out of this video, whether you use Wix or not for your website. This is where that value really comes in. I can click go to SEO guide here, and I will have a link to this in the description below. I would highly encourage that you guys work through this guide, just read what it says, learn the concepts of SEO. So right here, I can say SEO basics, uh, let's just say like building your site 
why page structure is so important. We have a whole article here that tells us what Google is looking for in a page, what factors matter, why do pages rank the way they do. There's a lot of really rich, detailed information that you can learn from this free guide. And if you read it and you invest your time into learning the concepts, and then you apply that to the Wix SEO wizard or any SEO tool that you're using, you are going to see your website start ranking higher in Google. So there's one more thing I wanna show you, and that's the Wix general SEO tools that you can access and dive deeper into more advanced concepts for optimizing your website. So I'm here at the Wix panel, and I'm just under SEO tools under SEO, and we've actually got a whole bunch of different things that we can do, such as site verification to make sure that our website is verified on Google Search Console, Bing, Yandex, all sorts of different search engines. We can work through these things. There's tutorials available in the guide and online for how to do that. But I told you guys that later in the video, I would cover the Google Search Console. So let's take a look at that and see what it is, what it meant for us to connect it with Google like we did earlier on in the video and get a better understanding for how that works. So I've looked up Google Search Console in another tab and you can see I've got it up right here. And this is actually actually a very powerful system directly from Google that gives us every single analytic we could ever dream of. How much our site is ranking, keywords it tends to be ranking for, how many clicks it's getting. It's like Google Analytics, but for Google search and Google results. Now, this is not the site we just added because I wanted you to see a site that's been in my Google Search Console for a while and has data so you can see how powerful this is. We can see the number of clicks by day. That's a useful metric, 806 total web search clicks uh, since this graph has been in existence, which looks like it's since October 6th, maybe. And one metric I love is performance. Clicking performance in this left sidebar, I can understand exactly where the clicks are coming from. So I can see query here. People are searching sermon notes. This has 103 clicks, 2,855 impressions. So this is sorted from most to least clicks. I can really get a feel for what people are converting from. Obviously, in this case, Sermon Notes, Sermon Notes app, Sermon Note Taking app, that's getting people to convert. That's what they're interested in and that's what's getting them to click on the Google result. Now I can also sort by impressions and see that in some ways we're ranking better in other categories that aren't getting clicks. So we ranked 777 times in church app development for that keyword, but zero people have clicked it. So that can really help you brainstorm why aren't people clicking it? Is there something in that description box that you can change that could get more people to click why are we ranking for church app development in the first place? What are our keywords that are causing Google to push that up in the results? Is it a blog post on our site maybe? Is it something that we say on the page? So really investigating that and understanding the why behind how Google ranks your site can be very powerful. Now, just to show you guys that our site is connected from Wix, I'm gonna click this drop down here. And then I can see right here, dittoscookies.com. It has been added just from when we did that link with Wix. It was very easy to do. Just sign in with your Google account. And if I click this here, it's gonna tell us that there's not enough data because we just linked it and it takes time. You're not gonna see data here immediately. You do have to give it a couple days and let people click your site and find it for you to start getting metrics in the Google Search Console. But definitely make sure you take full advantage of Google Search Console no matter which website builder you use. Make sure you dig into that free guide that Wix provides for SEO. And if you wanna create your website or online store today, do be sure to use the link in the description below to get started with your Wix website. I've got full tutorials on how to create your Wix website that you can watch and a big thanks again to Wix for sponsoring this video. So what are your favorite SEO tips and tricks? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below and if you like this video do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. With that said, I will catch you guys next time.